Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, an extra language on a Joomla free website. So we'll go first to the language manager. And here you can see we already have two languages installed and English is the default language on this website. Now click install language and you'll get a list of languages you can choose. I'll go for Chinese simplified and click install. Okay, let's look at the languages again. Go to the language manager. Now we can see that Chinese is installed. Now there's a few more steps we have to do. We have to go to the content area and here you can see there's still only English and Thai. Take note that for um, the languages there is the system name, there is a native title which is displayed, can be displayed in the website itself. There's a language tag and a URL code for it which means that any page in the Thai section We'll start with th slash and then the name of the page. And there's an image prefix which uh, determines the, the flag shown if there's a, a language sw switcher on the website where they can choose language using the flag. So now we have to create Chinese. So I click New, Title Chinese, Native Title. language tag sometimes you have to search to find out what the language tag would be for the language you're going to use for Chinese CH ZH that means uh, Chinese in the land of China the URL language code so often I'll just use that you can use whatever you want to use um, I'll just use CN in this case it could be Chinese this determines the, the URL. Image prefix. Here's the, the drop down list that helps us a bit. Let's look for something with C. CH, that's probably the one we're looking for. No, it's not. CZ, no. Turns out it should actually be uh, ZHCN, and it's the same up here. And we can see the Chinese flag, so we know we're on the right path. Save and close. Now, uh, we have Chinese as a language on the website. Now, for each language on the website, there needs to be a separate menu. Uh, we have to have one menu. Um, I usually call it a hidden menu, where we have a... a a home page that is set which will not actually be displayed to anyone and that has to be set to be in in any language or all languages so I create a page I set it as as um, the default page and I set the language to all and this is default so I just have this in a menu by itself, and that is essential for the multi-language function to work in Joomla. So having created that, one can then go ahead and create the other menus for the other languages. So we have created a menu for English and a menu for Thai. Now, you'll notice that the each one has got its own home page, and that home page is set to the language that we're using. So now we're going to create a Chinese menu. No. We need to create an article that will we'll show on the Chinese site. So I'll go to the article manager, create a new article.
and uh, I just have to set the language to be Chinese. Save and close. Then we go back to Chinese menu. We uh, create a link to that page and we have to specify that the language will be Chinese, that this will be the home page and save and close. So now we've got a Chinese menu, an English menu and a Thai menu. If this is the, the first time you've set this up then you should also go to the plugin manager do a search for lang for languages and you'll see two plugins coming up. I usually only use this one, the language filter. Make sure it is enabled and I usually allow people to, to um, choose the language that they want. So uh, if you set it to browser settings, it will automatically change the language according to the, the settings on that person's computer. If you set it to site language, it will default to the default language on the website. Removing the URL language code means that um, for the default language, there won't be uh, the, the prefix of that language appearing in the URL. So, for example, on the English pages as a default, it will not then say website name.com slash en slash name of the page. Instead, it will just be website name.com slash name of the page. So, that is a good feature to have. Save and close. Go to the uh, module manager and uh, create a new module which is a uh, language switcher. We have already created it on this on this website but when you create a new module just click language switcher and you'll be able to create the module. It needs to be set in some public location and it will enable a user to change between English and the other languages on the website. You can choose whether or not to use the flags or for buttons that people can use to, to flick between or whether there should be a, a drop-down list of languages available on the website. Make sure of course it is set to a, a position on the website and is published and save and close. With all this in place the website will now have three different languages, English, Thai and Chinese, and when a user clicks on any of these flags it will switch between the languages. Now I am on the Chinese page and you'll notice that there is actually no menu here, so what we need to do is to have, we have to have a menu for each language. So uh, go back to the Joomla backend and go to the module manager and uh, here what we do is we create a menu for each of the languages and we set that to appear on all the English pages in this case. So this is going to show the English menu. We set it to display on all pages but we are specifying only on those with the English language. So repeat this process for each language on the website. Now I'll um, create a Chinese one quickly for us. Main menu, Chinese, Chinese published to make sure it is set to only display on Chinese pages, on all pages and save and close. So now in theory the website should load OK. OK, now we've got the Chinese menu is here. So I hope this helps as a brief introduction to how to create a multilingual Joomla website. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, do uh, let me know and we're happy to help you.